Hello, in this video tutorial we are going to look at how to add assignments into your course. And there are, there are two ways to look at this. I can add assignments, and then if I want to add an assignment into a module, then I can add the assignment after it has been made, or I can go to the module and add the assignment within the module. So um, I'm going to show you how to go into the module to create the assignment. So I'm going to go to my modules and I'm going to go to my unit three module. And in this module, I want to add a component. And so you'll notice that the default is to start an assignment, but you'll notice there's several different things you can add into the module. But we do want an assignment. It is going to list all of my assignments that I have so far in the course, but it also lists new assignment and I want to make the new assignment. And this one is going to be called my unit three assignment. Once I've named the assignment, I'm going to say add item and it adds the assignment into my module. Now, my other option would be to just go to Assignments. And from Assignments, you'll uh, notice that my Unit 3 assignment is listed here still, because anytime I create an assignment, it will be listed in my assignment list. But you'll notice that there's also an Add Assignment button here. And this Add Assignment button will let you add assignments prior to adding them into the module. So, I'll go ahead and open the assignment from here. You could have just as easily opened the assignment from within the module. Both time, both ways would take me to this. Notice that right now I have no content. So to edit the content, I will click on the edit button. And because I had already named the assignment, I have the name of the assignment right here at the top of the page. And then here is where I would add the instructions for the assignment. Now let's look at all the options you get on your assignment here. First of all, how many points is the assignment going to be worth? I'm going to base this one on a 100. Um, the assignment group right now, uh, we're just going to keep it under assignments. We're going to display the greatest points. And then we have a submission type. Right now this says no submission. So if I leave it as no submission, then all the students are going to need is to read the instructions to know what they do, but nothing is actually submitted. Or I can change this to where it is either an online submission, or I can actually verify here that it's an on paper submission. So students get their instructions within Canvas from the assignment, but they turn in a paper um, assignment to the teacher. And then you can also add external tools. What we're going to concentrate on for this tutorial is the online submission. Once I click online, there are four different ways that I can have students turn in. A text entry is where they would just type in an answer. A website URL is where you could have students turn in the URL to their student blog or the URL to a Web 2.0 app where they have done their project. Students can actually add media recordings. If it's a media recording, they can add either a video or an audio file back to the teacher. And then you can upload a file. And if I upload a file back to uh, the teacher, then the teacher can read that file. And this can be any type of file that the student has saved. It can be a document, a spreadsheet, a presentation. Uh, it could be an image. It could be an audio file. So lots of different types of files. So I will go ahead and make this one a file upload. Notice that you can restrict the uh, file type uh, if you want on the upload. Group assignments. Um, you can uh, form groups within your class, and then you can uh, make assignments based on those groups. Peer reviews. You uh, can require peer reviews um, of a student's work once they turn it in. And so there will be other tutorials to teach you how to do peer reviews. Who are we going to assign this to? 
So right now it will default that it's going to assign to everyone, but this is where you could differentiate. We're going to put in the due date. I notice there is a little calendar. So I'm going to say that uh, this is due on October 30th. And if you want to, you can have an exact time that it opens until the time it closes. And uh, that is um, going to be optional if you want to put in the available from until dates. And so once you have your assignment in and you have all pieces selected, then you just say save and publish and your assignment for your students has been created. And when I go back to my list of modules, I can see on module three or on unit three that the unit three assignment is now published. And once again, if I want to unpublish it, I can simply click the little cloud and turn that off or click the cloud to turn it back on so students can see it.